If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. You can create summary queries in Access that perform a mathematical function on a field called an aggregate function based on groups of values found in another grouped query field or grouped query fields. These are usually shorter queries often used for reporting. For example, if you wanted to know the sum of sales for each salesperson in your company, you could show this in a summary query assuming you were recording the salesperson for each sale that occurred. To do this, you would need to first create a query that has the salesperson field, followed by the sales amount field. You would then group by the values found within the salesperson field and sum the values of the sales amount field for the records in each unique grouping of values found within the salesperson field. To create a summary query using aggregate functions in Access, open the query in Design View and add the fields needed for grouping the fields to calculate for each grouping, and any fields needed for criteria purposes in that order. Then click the Totals button that appears in the Show Hide button group on the Design tab of the Query Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Doing this adds a new total row to the QBE grid of your query. Under each field in the query in this row, the words Group By appear by default. The group by value indicates that the query will group all records in that field that contain the exact same value. So using our example, under the salesperson field, you would leave the group by value intact, which will then group all records where the salesperson value is the same. You then use the drop down in the total row of the field upon which to perform the aggregate function to select the name of the aggregate function to perform on this field for each unique grouping created by the other field or fields by which you grouped the records. So continuing our example, then under the sales amount field, you would click into the total row and select the sum function under the sales amount field. This query would then show you the sum of the sales amount field for each set of records grouped by the values in the salesperson field. These types of functions are called aggregate functions as they perform a function upon the aggregation of values in a field. The grouping and aggregate function choices available in the drop-down in the total row in Access include group by for grouping fields and a variety of standard aggregate functions. There is also an expression choice which you can choose for query fields where you create a calculated field in a summary query and want it excluded from being used for grouping or aggregate functions. This choice lets you reference fields aggregated in the query. For example, if you have a sum aggregate choice on a sales amount field in the query, you can refer to it in the calculated field as bracket sum of sales amount close bracket if the calculated field uses the expression choice. For example, commission colon space bracket sum of sales amount close bracket asterisk 0.25. Note that it also includes a where choice which you can choose for fields you must add to the QBE grid for criteria purposes but which you do not want to show in the query results or include as part of the grouping or aggregate function calculations. After creating a summary query in Access, make sure to click the Save button in the Quick Access toolbar to save your changes. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.